Try coding without AI for just one day. The results might surprise you. All right, so that's an awful lot to take in. I wanted to give this person a shout out again because I thought that this was very well written. And in particular, I really like that they kind of tell it like a story and then they go on to give some suggestions about how they're approaching. And then they give some suggestions about how they're going to approach differently their own development process. I wanted to go back through this and touch on some things and kind of take on their perspective, right? Like, let's try to side with them, see things through their lens, and see if this feels like there's relevant points that we can extract some value from, right? So they're going on in this part where they talk about the decay. They're talking about as they're developing things now, right? So they've been a developer for a long time, over 12 years, right? And they're starting to say, like, these things crept up. So all of a sudden, it kind of feels like out of nowhere, but they know it's been over a period of time, that they have things like their debugging skills. They're basically finding that they're more reliant. They're finding that they're just like uh, using AI to solve like what, whatever the stack traces are. Their like critical thinking ability and problem solving is starting to go away because they're relying on tools. So I think that's interesting. I've certainly found myself using AI for things that I don't necessarily want to spend time on. I've talked about this in previous videos where I might be going to create some SQL tables and different schemas, and I have some basic queries. I don't mind writing SQL, but it gets to a point where I have something a little bit more complicated, and I could go figure it out, but instead of spending the time to go figure it out, I just ask AI to do it. And then I ask it to optimize for different things. So for example, if it gives me back some C-sharp code that's querying the database, and it gives me three queries, I say, can you try doing this with one round trip, right? Can we optimize this for latency? Can we do other things with this? And that way, I'm not spending my own time trying to go write the query and make it better. I don't really have to worry about that anymore. It's interesting because I can acknowledge that I'm not spending time doing that kind of stuff. But at the same time, I would absolutely say that my ability to go do more complex things in SQL, that is going away. I'm not spending time doing it anymore. I think there's probably a lot of things like this that individuals can relate to. So if you're watching this, it might not be SQL queries for you, but you might be finding that you're replacing part of your development process with things like AI, being able to ask it questions or go do things, tasks that you don't really want to do in your development process.